Let's watch the round of 32 matches played between Ryan Dino and Core Tax in the GP3 Side and France vs. Core Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Nobody recorded their matches on their phone when they were playing, so we had to uh, use the TC replays. And the first one was broken. So we are going to watch directly from the second match. And in this one, Cortex is leading. Cortex was uh, using Gladiator and Natural Energy in the first match. And since the second match, he was uh, going to switch to another serve volley lineup using the Shield and Macrobiotic to have a pretty decent volley stat of 67, but a good serve of 57. The stamina of Cortex was decently low with a 21 stamina stat only. And for Ryan Dino, well, he chose to have a very agile Victoria, well, agile for a high serve big forehand lineup, of course. His Victoria was using the Hades threats and the Koi. So, no ballistic, no Jolly Roger. The serve of Ryan Nino was not very strong then, but it was enough to uh, put an exclamation mark on Cortex uh, when Ryan Nino was serving. But this Victoria was uh, much more agile than what a high serve big forehand player would have usually. With 57 agility, that's uh, pretty awesome. The serve stat was 46. And the forehand was at 77 start and as Ryan Dino was hitting hard enough, he scored many good passing shots. Kotax was serving pretty fast. As for Ryan Dino, well, you can see that the 46 serve start doesn't put an exclamation mark on Kotax very often, not all the time. That one either. Too bad. That could have been a nice corner shot. Nice drop return. But Cortex follow up very nicely. Three match points now to save for Ryan Dino. Will he make it? Or will Cortex lead by 2-1? Cortex was quick catching a lot, but uh, the 77 forehand had spoken by the end of this uh, third match. Ryan Dino has equalized. Try a body shot there, didn't work. And on the next shot, the ball coated the net. Nice cross court shot. This match is much longer than the two first ones. Nobody is losing focus. Too bad for Ryan Dino, his forehand shot was a bit too wide, too deep and Cortex is leading now 2-1 in this round of 32. Ryan Dino switches to the choker courts. He has to win that match fast otherwise he will deplete his stamina very fast and there was a very nice lob in the first point
wrong anticipation from Cortex who is an experienced volley player yeah this 46 serve is really not a flanking Cortex the minimum and the drop return didn't work Nice follow up from Cortex. A body shot that worked it. Cortex returning too deep. Cross court worked it well. This one was a bit out, but Cortex returned it. And Ryan Dino came back. The score is now 2-2 two, two. and we are going to see who is going to take uh, the win in this fifth match. Very strong serve from Quartax who hit the net there. That's not so common to see those errors from Quartax. Very nice Costco shot from Ayandino. He seems on good form now in this fifth match. While Cortex has hit a double fault and returned it really deep. He seems to want to go to the sixth match fast. And here we go for the sixth match. Ryan Dino is leading 3 2. If he wins that one, he will qualify for the round of 16 with a score of 4 2. First to reach four wins is qualify in a best of uh, seven matches. That love was a bit too wide why do you know kept on hitting on the backhand side uh, of uh, Cortex and it worked it on the previous point Three. Nice serve. This serve is really strong point of uh, a lot of core uh, players like Cortex, Corsus. When they serve correctly, meaning they don't commit an enforced error. They follow up very easily and Cortex equalize scoring out 3 3. And whoever wins that seventh match is going to qualify for the next round, the round of 16. And we have seen an unforced roar from Cortex at the beginning of this seventh match. While uh, Ryan Dino stays focused and commits very few unforced errors, he's on fire in the seventh match. No, that one was a bit optimistic. Nice volley from Cortex. Who comes back? 2 4 4. Good cross cross shot from Ryan Dino, who almost succeeded in lobbing Cortex there. Except that Cortex had plenty of stamina. 
so the lap couldn't work. Very nice quick catch. How is Ryan Dino going to deal with this match point? He had to do nothing because Cortex returned it too deep. And that's another unforced error from Cortex. Too bad. This match ends on an unforced error from Cortex. Ryan Dino qualifies for the round of 16 where he will face either Wayne Vic or Cor Solomon. Well, I hope you enjoy watching the round of 32 matches played between Ryan Dino and Core Tax in the GP25 and Friends vs. Core Tournament in Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wildlife Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay265 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of the tournament. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon Gameplay265. Bye bye.